actually have a uh, machine working. It looks like they have a tree that they're looking to clear out of the area. So I think that's what they're going to be doing is clearing out the roads first, starting there. But we can see that right there, that large machine right now starting up with that cleanup effort. There's a large tree right there. And there's some uh, workers also working toward there. But this is that drone four shot. We'll continue to, to bring you these images this morning as more information continues to pile into the newsroom. But it sounds like Holly has some new information that we need to be sharing. Yes, we are going to be checking back in right now with News Force Cameron Taylor. He is live for us in the Germantown area. Yeah. I know you've been talking with more folks in that area, but uh, heavy damage right there. Yeah, a lot of damage, Holly, this morning, and we're really getting a good look at it now that the sun is out. We have an emergency three level. Overnight and earlier this morning, uh, because we have crews out Multiple here, counties. Sure that it is clear, but we still have all of this right here. You guys, I've been in two tornadoes. Pieces of a building. I mean, this I is never seen anything like it. The sky was green, which is normal. But the lightning was the most electric blue I've ever seen. I've never seen lightning like that in my life. I couldn't open my window to get a video. It was just too much. Just in Nashville, 50,000 people don't have electricity. This hit at 1 o'clock in the morning, Central Time. All right, again, you mentioned power. The latest numbers we're seeing now, total affected customers from NES, 47,683. That number beginning to fluctuate just a bit, but it was as high as 48. 47, 48,000 not long ago. We'll continue to follow this, of course, and bring you the very latest. Right now, we're checking in with News 4's Chris Miller. He's out in the Germantown area as well. This is the hardest hit. Hey, Chris. Yeah, right back Schools are gone Park, and everything. Right Rosa Parks Boulevard right now. This is the O'Reilly Auto Parts. I want to show you something here. Well, we found this interesting shot right here with the, the national skyline in the distance here. Just the, the damage here to O'Reilly Auto Parts. And you can see if this had just happened, one mile away, it would have swept right through downtown Nashville. And it just really gives you perspective on just how close this was to hitting Nashville itself. But Germantown itself absolutely wrecked. And you just saw Cameron's shot a little bit there, too. But this is not far from where he's at. And we're just seeing another scene here that's very similar. These are bricks. This building here, there's bricks down everywhere. And uh, as we move across here, you can see these telephone wires here, these, these power lines right now. Uh, there's a piece of sheet metal hanging over the top of the power line, Zach, if you could give him that shot right here over to your right. You see that piece of sheet metal just hanging over the top of that. Uh, we could look further down the road here. There's just people wandering around that live in this community. Uh, businesses are closed in this area. Obviously, a lot of people just aren't able to make it to work. So a lot of those people we've been talking to are like, I would be at work today, but instead I'm out here just checking out the, the building on the right. I'm just walking around and trying to see... The magnitude of all this. The uh, water is leaking the onto a mural. Trees, it's signs, just so crazy. Giant metal poles just bent in two. Sheet metal. I mean, we go further down the road here. Do you see the corner of this house right here, Zach? Are we able to zoom in on that? The entire side of this house completely caved in and destroyed. And as we go further down the road, it's the same scene. And it almost makes me feel, I was talking to someone a little bit ago there, and we were trying to assume where the tornado went, but it's almost as if it came cruising straight down here on Monroe Street because there's damage on both sides of the road and it just continues They said that the down. tornado yeah. when it I got to Mount Juliet on the other side of Nashville was five houses this wide. Is a, a good example of the damage here because the steeple there is bent as you can see it's tilted to the sides. So we've been watching that all morning long too. I mean everywhere you look They don't know if that's going to fall. And, and now it's just people kind of walking through this area and trying to grasp the magnitude of everything that's going on. If we could give you a, a look here at the Kroger parking lot as well. This is the Kroger here in Germantown. And let's, let's take a look. 
This is uh, where all the traffic's being diverted today. So people want to come up and they're trying to work in North Nashville. They're trying to get to downtown Nashville this morning. They're coming up Rosa Parks Boulevard and they're being told to go right into this Kroger parking lot and then they're either diverted back and down the way they came or they're diverted further up the street here where they've already used the snowplow.